Well, we need to be careful. You know what? You got to be careful what we say now. Man, look at this way. We came to church. When did you and, When did you come? When did you uh, move over here? What year? Uh, in 59. 59? Okay. Yeah. That was a year after we moved to church. We moved to church from Tenson Pacific in 58. Now, did you always have a car? Did you get the street car? Well, uh, when I used to live just about four blocks from First Church, and we came to Central on a streetcar. That's what That's I thought. when we first married. Yeah. It took us an hour one way. You had to keep stopping for waiting on the next streetcar. Time we get there. We get up, take it all the way over to uh, Central Avenue there, and then walk down to the church. Now this oh, is yeah. this is central here, and <clears throat> the streetcar tracks came from here over Kansas, Missouri, and this is a, this is where they came up. Yeah. And so Bill would have come from that way over there, and up through here, down through the through the bottoms up to the bluff. After the war, people didn't have cars. Uh, my mom and dad didn't have a car when I was born, and we rode the streetcar. Tracks and I mean, rode the streetcar. I mean, I can remember doing that. So what you're going to see is nothing. The only thing that you're going to have is a picture of a of a sign here, because there's nothing here. I mean, it's uh, relating to the church. This is yeah. None of this was in here when we were here. So this is it, right there. That's where the that mini market. Mm -hmm. and That's so, where the church sat. This no, was, no parking. Everything, everybody parked on the street that drove. We decided that everybody come to church on Easter, so we decided to have our big day on Palm Sunday, and so everybody, I mean, the, the, this the biggest part of the church, got busy in that and got to asking everybody, and that on Palm Sunday that year we had eight hundred in that little bitty church, but our church was continually. Uh, we'd have trouble with the foundation uh, mm. and the walls cracking and everything. Yeah. Anyway, finally, we were going to have to sink a, a pile of runner of our church to support it. And we had spent so much money already, and that was going to be extremely expensive. So we decided we need, really needed to move the church. We hated to do it because this church was a church where we actually worked this neighborhood. And a whole lot of, we had a lot of walking through Mrs. Smith and all those people came in from from right here. So we had a really good, strong church, but just breaking us up trying to fix the church. So we decided that we needed to move, and that's when we moved out to 18th and Barnett. So those were great days. I, I'll have a really fond memories of this church. Yeah, you can see the parking here. It wasn't a lot, but yeah. that, we parked all along here for, for that. And the property line was just about there, through here. I don't think it wasn't. It wasn't a big church. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's just once they already got there. Now uh, that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like a big church. Oh, sure did. <laughs> now we bought this property over here at 18th and Barnett. We bought it from the Catholic the nuns who run Providence Hospital, and. Uh, we thought it was really, really a, what we should do. But actually, now, I, after these years, I think a mistake because we set it down right in the middle of the Catholic diocese. And we called all, all those houses around there, and that was, we couldn't work in the neighborhood anymore because they were all, almost all of them were Catholic, and they all said they went to that Catholic church there. Behind there, by, on the street. Well, St. Peter, Peter's. St. Peter's. St. Peter's. Yeah, everybody oh. wanted, to, all Catholics wanted to be in it. This is a great diocese. Yeah. And so, and, th and that's why, I mean, you can see this has been kept up really good. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a, it was always kept up good because Catholics wanted to come in here and live and uh, because of the diocese. But see, all of this is, is, uh, all, Catholics. Well, I'm surprised they let us buy that property. Well, they I couldn't get, they, remember the, how we the got it. The nurses got in trouble. They bought it from from the nurses. They were they were running the hospital here, 
And uh, anyway, they got in trouble with the diocese for selling it to us. Central Church is kind of like a family church. We're all brothers and sisters there. We all, we have a really good time over there and, and also it's very spiritual. We've had some tremendous revivals and things. Central is just really a, a great place to bring your family. Well, I, I mean, I'll echo that. I mean, it's, it's a family. We, you know, we just grew up there and we, our families grew up there and we had friends and that's, uh, that was our church. And, you know, the core of that church stayed together. We had people come and go, but the core of the church has stayed together. And uh, I think for that reason, we just uh, appreciate one another. Not that we all got along and we all agreed on everything, but we just, uh, uh, we gave and, you know, took and it just all worked out. That's the reason Central's there today. And I think it all boils back to, you know, Pastor Miller, because he was insistent on everybody working together and the harmony of the church. And I think it just sort of kept through it. I, I think that you, you can't build a church without a strong lay group. Pastors can't do it with themselves. Mm -hmm. It just takes so, a really strong group to stay, to, to stay together. Yeah. Not get upset about anything and leave. You got to stay together. And I think that's what the, the whole thing was, you know, yeah. going through two buildings and having the cores of that church staying together through all that thick and thin and going through different pastors, different leaderships and, yeah. you know, we yeah. stuck together. <laughs> yeah.